under my video on the media element that should pop up on your screen or down in the video description there was a question how to play audio in the background so let's go check out how to do that So here we see the end result of the video that we're about to see. Um, we are going to play some audio in the background. This is actually an audio file that um, you can't hear it uh, because you know it, it has this weird setup now through my computer. Um, so you can't actually hear it, but you can see it playing. And it's actually the audio of the media element video that I, um, I mentioned earlier. So, you know, but this is playing now in our app. And whenever I um, leave the app and go into my control center, you can see here that it picks up on um, the um, like the metadata from my little file. So I named it media element and the artist is me. Um, and you can see it's actually playing here, right? So this little progress bar is showing that it's still playing. Um, I can pause it, I can play it. And this is all um, iOS functionality, right? So this is nothing that I could do. Um, if I would have provided the artwork metadata here, it would show that as well. I didn't do that in this case. Um, so if, but you can see if I, if I, you know, seek here, so I go to nine minutes, uh, something, something, and I go out of this control center thing and back into the app, you can see that it also scrolled to nine minutes. So you have this seeming, uh, seamless um, um, transition between, you know, playing in the background, playing in the foreground. And near the end of this video, I will have a special surprise. So make sure that you will look at all of it. So here we are in Visual Studio 2019. Uh, on the left, you can see it running uh, that it shows a XAML page for a file new XAML forms application that is running on the right. Um, it's running on my actual physical device this time um, because the thing that we are going to implement cannot be tested on the simulator. We really have to do this on a physical device. So that's a pro tip right here that you um, um, catch at the start of this episode. Um, now, I've already installed the Xamarin Community Toolkit. So, you know, in your solution, right click, uh, manage NuGet packages, go to Xamarin.community toolkit, um, and there you will find it and just install that on your project. So, I've already done that. So, let's add the XML namespace right here, XCT. Uh, the name can be anything, but you know, I like to use XCT and um, we're going to add the toolkit here. Now, there's a little problem, it seems, with hot reload on my physical device. So I am going to update the title, but you won't see it update. Um, background play sample. There we go. Um, and what I'm going to do is remove all of this stuff right here. And I'm going to add a media element here. So like I already mentioned, this is going to work for the media element. Um, and you know, it, it probably works for other um, components as well, maybe other plugins that are out there, maybe you rolled your own, you could do that definitely too as well. Um, you would have to see but this uses a specific way, you can even manually set like the play now, um, um, thing, um, um, info, I'm, I'm not sure how it's called. Uh, that's not going to be shown in this video. Uh, maybe, you know, if you want to know the fine grained um, control over how to do that, let me know in the comments. And you know, if we get enough comments and enough likes on that, then I will consider doing another video on that. Um, but this works specifically for the media element. And I'm going to put in a source. So I have put a little mp3 file on one of the many um, domains that I have, which is called sample mp3. If you go to listen to it, it's actually the audio of the episode about the media element. So, um, you know, just so I don't get in trouble with any copyright stuff. Um, and let's give this a little hide request so that it shows up nicely. Um, now, I'm gonna, well, actually, let me stop and, and restart this again. So we can see what's going on. And we can see the differences here. Um, so what's going to happen now is that our app is going to come back up. And um, we will see uh, the media element, of course, which will play the mp3 file. Um, so that will be no surprise. But the thing that we are actually wanting to see is here, you know, in the top right, um, we have this little now playing thing. And there it will show the information about, um, you know, the um, artist and, and all the stuff that uh, it shows the play button and the pause button and the fast forward and whatever. Um, so that, you know, people have an easy way to actually control what they're playing while they're might not be in the app. Um, also, actually, you know, because if I go out of this app, then it, it stops playing, right? It doesn't play anymore. You can't hear it now. Um, actually, maybe, you know, if I 
do this and I turn up the sound a little bit, then you might be able to hear it. Um, oh no, because it's it's connected to the computer, so that's not going to work in this case. Um, so, but if you look here, it says media element Gerald um, Schleus that is already um, extracted from like the the um, uh, metadata of that file. Um, and if I go out of here, then it will still show it. So you know, already something is going on. Uh, this might be because it's actually connected to uh, my computer. Um, so you know, if if that's the case, then um, this is. You see, it says system capture. So. The demo here is a little bit hard because it's connected to the computer and then it plays the audio through there. Um, but typically it would stop playing here now um, if you do this on your, your local device and you really have to do the thing to make it play in the background. Um, so what we need to do for that is actually implement a little bit of code. You can do that on multiple levels. You can also use like here the um, um, so whenever it the state changed, basically, uh, we have a, a, a event for all the things here. Um, so whenever the media um, um, ended or failed or opened, uh, then you might be able to do something there. Uh, but then you would have to write your own kind of dependency uh, service um, where you go out to some platform specific code. Uh, but what you can also do is just go into your iOS app and your app delegate. And here we can say we're going to add a little new method that's mentioned, uh, named enable background play. And what we're going to do here, because this is just all a shared session through your app and maybe even like through the whole OS. Um, and what we're going to say is current session is AV um, audio session. I need to add a using for that here. Oh, no, it already has it. Dot um, shared instance. So now we're getting a shared instance of something that's called the AV audio session uh, that coordinates an audio playback or capture session. So that sounds like something that we need. Um, and then in that current session, we can do set category. And there's, there's actually multiple things that we can do here. So you can see here that you set some kind of category for the thing that you are playing. And in this case, you know, you can do play and record if you want to simultaneously play something and record something or it's ambient or it's whatever. There's a whole bunch of things here. Uh, we're going to choose playback. And actually you have an overload here with options. Now be careful with this one. Um, so you can say allow airplay, Bluetooth, um, whatever. Uh, but you can also say uh, mix with others, which is really cool because because that allows you to play your audio together with someone else's audio. But the thing is, whenever you do that, it will not show up in that play center in your control center thingy. Um, that cost me some time <laughs> uh, to figure out because I, I have this code, why is it not working? Um, so this was why. So I'm just not going to do that options. Please explore them if that's, you know, um, for your use case, you need to use that. Uh, but that's not going to work for our little thing. And in our current session, we're going to say set active then um, to true, which you know sets actually this um, current session. So that is, you know, um, why I said maybe you want to do this whenever you actually start playing um, your media, because you know, this this takes over a session that might be going on. So whenever um, some other app is playing something then you're just going to override it whenever your app is open, that might not be what you want, you might want to wait before your app actually starts playing something. But um, you know, so just so you know what is going on here. Now, of course, we need to then um, do this inside of our application. So it uh, doesn't really matter in which order it's going to be. So let's just, you know, do it here at the top. Um, our main page, our media element, let's stop this and run it again. Um, and whenever we do, we will see not much difference here because the way I explained already this demo um, is a little bit hard to do with all the uh, moving bits here with playing that through the computer and actually casting my screen uh, because it, it thinks now that my computer is, you know, actually a device that um, needs to be used to, to play the audio with as well. Uh, but we'll just see. And actually, I got a little extra that I wanted to show you as promised. Um, so, you know, we're going to see what that extra is. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know it worked that way. Um, but, you know, um, we'll, we'll see that in a little bit, a little cliffhanger here. So here's our app coming up again, and it starts playing. Um, 
And so it won't be a surprise that, you know, whenever I go out here and I go here and it will still, you know, you can now here play it, you can pause it, um, you can you can scrub through it just because we're using like this, this built in AV um, audio session. And you will see that in, if you go into the source of the media element, you will also see that um, that uses like the AV view controller. So, you know, that that's kind of the same thing and that all hooks into each other. So that is pretty cool. Actually, this is, I'm noticing that it doesn't work uh, because we probably forgot one other thing. Um, because what we forgot is let's stop this and we need to go here into our info P list and go into our application and we are going to scroll down. And what you have to enable is here the enable background modes. And whenever you do, you have a couple of background modes, you can do all kinds of things. Uh, but the most important one for us is audio, airplay and picture in picture. Now, there is a little spoiler right there. That was the thing that I was going to show you next, the um, picture in picture one. So hopefully if we now actually, um, you know, go run this again, um, it takes a little bit longer because I'm on a physical device, then it should actually play in the background now because, you know, um, I, I noticed that the little indicator that uh, showed the progress of our little MP3 file was not playing while it was in the background. So you can see here, you know, uh, one, two, three, here we go, five, six, it goes, it goes. And then when I close it, then it should go here. See, now you can see it running. Um, you can see 12, 13, 14. So it just continues running, right? And now I can pause this, I can play this. I can fast forward this four minutes, it start, continues playing. And whenever I go out here and I go back into the app again, you will see that it picks up on that little seeking action and it continues playing. So that is really cool for our background play. Now, the thing I noticed um, that I mentioned already is whenever we do this with a video file, it will automatically enable us to do picture in picture throughout the whole OS. That is something that is new in iOS 13 or 14, where you can have this picture in picture mode throughout the whole OS. So you can just go into other apps, you can just go in, um, do, do all the thing, text people um, while still watching the video. So if I quickly stop this one, and this URL was a little bit, um, you know, a little bit too long. So let me just copy this one and put it in here. And whenever I put this one in here, this is a examined community toolkit show about app localization. And I run this one. Um, this is with my good friend, Maxim, who is um, telling us something about, you know, how to localize your app with the examined community toolkit with the stuff that he implemented. Um, so go check out that video right after this one. Uh, we have to wait a little bit for this to come up. It's deploying, it's deploying and almost there. And whenever we do, you will now see that when, um, you know, when you go to the background, it can enable that picture in picture mode. So that is pretty cool. So here you can see it starts playing. There's me again, little Geraldception. Um, we can seek again. And here's that, here's that picture in picture button, right? So here, this one. Um, and whenever I do that, then we can do picture in picture right here in our application. I can flip me to all kinds of sides here, but whenever I go out of the app, you can see it still runs. It still runs. That is so cool. So you can just, you know, flip this, flip this, flip it all the ways. You can go into other apps, do all your things, go about your ways. And then whenever you say like, Hey, ooh, I want to go back to full screen. Um, you just tap that little full screen button and it goes back to the app where it originated from. And you can do all the things here again, scrub, um, and, and, and whatnot. So, you know, that is really cool. That's something that you get for free, the picture in picture mode when you're playing video. So that is how you implement the background playing, um, uh, with the media element. I intentionally left this video a little bit like, you know, having some errors in there where you could see I, I literally actually forgot to um, add that info P list check. So I'm glad I remembered while recording, but you know, you can see that um, this is how it happens. And I hope that way of seeing me do this and not being really polished helps you learn a little bit easier so that, you know, if you see me fail, then next time you think like, oh, he messed that up. I have to actually en enable that check in the P list. Um, now, this is, of course, only for I 
iOS. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure how to do it on Android. So um, if you want to see how to do it on Android, let me know in the comments and I will try to find out how to actually do it. Or if you are that Android guru and you know actually how to do it, please point me to resources, how to actually implement it um, or take this repo and implement it also for Android. And I will make a video about that to um, share that with the rest of our wonderful community. Um, Thank you again so much for watching another one of my videos. Please click that little like button to, um, you know, share the joy with all the other people on YouTube so that it goes into the algorithm. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.